What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Wolfie, here, and I'm back with a brand new video. You guys already know. Today, we're going to be doing a kind of a chit-chat makeup tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how I do my everyday look. This is literally it right here. How to become a caramel boss babe glazed donut, period. Through it, we're just going to be doing, I'm going to be doing a chit-chat with y'all just about how I've been going through, clearing the heart, my, uh, my religious and spiritual process with the lord how that's been and just how to kind of go about things that need to be done in your life for you to live a happy life okay we're also going to be doing our makeup today so go ahead get your makeup out right now let's do our makeup together girl uh, like it's time to get cute okay see how bright and sunny it is today yeah that means we need to go outside and get some air okay uh, without further ado, before we get into the video, remember you guys, remember to follow my hair company, Lace Me Up Hair, y'all. It is almost in the making of launching. We are going to be launching soon, but I need y'all to go ahead and support us. So go ahead and follow us on our social media. I'm going to be selling raw hair, uh, synthetic hair, lashes, mentally. The whole point or the whole goal of mine is to have my little own uh, beauty supply store for y'all, but until then we're just going to smart start very small we're just going with hair right now so make sure you follow that also follow me on all my socials as well so we can stay connected and i can talk to you guys because i love talking to you guys like so remember to like share and subscribe to your girl because you know the gang is lit 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 let y'all bring in pressure and heat all this year okay so without further ado let's go ahead and get into this chit chat and get ready with me doing my makeup i love you guys so much i'll see you guys at the end bye all right so i got my skin prep stuff usually i always go in with the facial toner but i already washed my face today so i go in with this a uh, me naturally hydro boosting facial toner i got this from dollar tree for 125 and it was so worth it y'all like uh if you've been watching my channel you know that i like this one ami moisturizing um moisturizer hydrating moisturizer and now they came out with a line at dollar tree so i'm excited with that after that i'll go in with the florence by mills up in the clouds facial moisturizer i really do like this moisturizer so i'm gonna go ahead and do that right now now, i already moisturized when i got out of the shower when i washed my face but adding moisturizer to your makeup is going to help your skin not look so dry regardless if you have oily skin or not you need something not just primer for your makeup to stick to and y'all here's the key i feel like people don't know this because it took me a while to even find out myself when you put on your prep your skin prep do not fully rub your products in do not your face needs to be shiny it needs to be dewy okay this is how you'll get the most natural looking like finish okay so do not rub it all the way in then Okay, so after we do that, we're going with primer. So my favorite primer is the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. You guys already know what this is. This is my favorite um, drugstore one, but my famous high-end one is the Smashbox uh, Photo Ready, what is it, Smooth and Blur Primer. And I mix these two together. And y'all can know I'm almost out of this, but this is like probably my third or fourth tube, so because you know once this came out no one was about to buy the milk product one because i got the milk um hydro grip primer and honestly that one works wonders as well i think it kind of works a little bit better than this one just because it's more high end but truthfully they have the same effects honestly but i remember when i got that i think it was like a birthday gift from sephora 
So when I got that, I was really in love with it, but I was not paying that price. There is only one thing from Sephora that I will actually pay full price for, and you guys will see in a minute when I use that product, okay? Usually I do my eyebrows first, but right now I think I just wanna color correct my skin. So I'm gonna go in with my favorite concealer or one out of two that I like, which is the e.l.f. Camo 16 hour um, matte finish concealer in the color Deep Chestnut. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna my mirror on, so. I'm gonna go ahead and just go and correct my under eyes. Do a little swoop. And then I draw also a line down the bridges of my nose so I can give it somewhat of like a slight, a slight contour effect, okay? Then I'm gonna go ahead and color correct any areas where I need to, where I have dark spots and blemishes. Truthfully speaking, it's more on this side than the others, but that's okay, all right? Okay. I like the matte finish better than the hydrating one because the hydrating one has more of a red tone, I think, in it, and it does not work with my skin. I don't like it at all, but I do like the formula of it, but I can't get with the color. It just makes me feel weird. Like, you know when your, your, your makeup is not your color. I can't work with that. That's just sad, okay? Then I also go in with the Revlon Color Stay, which is also one of my favorites, uh, full coverage concealer, and this is in the color 065 Cafe. And I just go again a little bit more because this one's more exact, um, the e.l.f. Camo Concealer is more exactly my color, but this one is more cooler tone. So I'm a very neutral color, so this is like more I don't know, kind of orangey for me. So when I put these two together, it gives me just the right amount of neutral tone that I need. Now, the other day I shaved and carved out my eyebrows. So I'm actually very happy about that because they were bushy, bushy, y'all. They were, well, they weren't bushy, but they wasn't. Uh, if I usually use like these razors. I got like a three pack of these razors from a Dollar Tree as well. I'm just going to let my concealer set right now. And we're just going to do our eyebrows. So while I do my eyebrows, I want to go more into talking about moving forward in life with you guys. Once I find my black eyeliner. All right, so I use Wet n Wild Mega Liner in black. Usually I use it in the dark brown, but I just don't have it anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and use black for my eyelid for my eyebrows today. But just going back into the topic, um, so it's been almost a year now since I gave my life to, I just looked at it. It's been almost a year now since I've given myself to the Lord or given my life back to Jesus Christ and committed to my religion as being Christian. And y'all, it has been a journey. It has been a serious journey, y'all. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and underline, line up under my eyebrows. But y'all, it has been a journey. I've learned so much about myself. I've learned so much about grace, forgiveness, and really learning not to be as judgmental. Because you never really know what other people are going through. Like, we have to understand that there is just so much evil in this world. And some people really just never been shown love, never. Cause I noticed that the way that, you know, I've been raised versus how other people have been raised, man, my kindness really turns them off. Really, it really turns them off. And at first I used to beat myself up because I'd be like, why are people so mean to me? Or I'm always so nice when I, when I you know, I'm always so nice and giving. And people really just find a reason not to like me. Now, that used to be an issue with me, like, when people just did not like me. But, you know, I just, but that was really, when I was really young, I would say, like, when I was young, trying to still understand myself and whatnot. But um, after a while, I kind of just got through that because it's like, no one's really, not everyone's going to like you because not everyone's for you. If everyone's for you, you might need to 
re put some boundaries. I say put some boundaries. Like some people be like, you have issues if everyone likes you. That's not the truth. That's hating, truthfully. If a lot of people like you, that's not an issue. But I feel like you do need to have some boundaries because you're allowing yourself to be available to everything and everyone. And that is not good because not everyone and everything is good for you, you know? So one thing I can tell people for sure that I struggled with was forgiving myself and others of my past. And once I really understood who Jesus and God was, not only to everyone, but personally to me, it was it was getting really um it was it was freeing literally it was really freeing to understand um a lot of things that i feel like i couldn't uh realize myself from because it's a very biased perspective you know like we are who we are we're not perfect and i can't i can't see everything that you know others may but I know myself enough to know stuff, you know, like I, I'm still learning along the way. So I told, I told God, like, I have a serious issue with freaking uh, friggin people because there were a lot of people who stabbed me in the back. Why? I have no idea. Why? <laughs> I used to ask why like did I do something I used to always make think like I did something to make this person that mad that they would do something to me well truly that was just their character and you don't forgive because you want to forgive them for the things they've done to you you forgive because you need to get that burden off your chest you need to forgive because no one is perfect y'all like nobody is perfect Everyone has their own battles, their own struggles, their own flaws, insecurities. Some people don't even have hope in this life. Some people aren't even blessed as much as you. So even your blessings make them more mad. Like you understand like your smiles make them frown. That don't match up because my smile should make you smile. And if my smiles don't make you smile, then we not even cool then, like, you know? So it's like, there is no actual reason in between these things besides the other person and if you're always focused on the other person how are you ever going to be happy yourself and that was my issue and because i was always upset with the other person i could not ever forgive the other person and that made me stubborn it made me angry it made me hate the world it made me isolate myself like if god isolated me from other people that's okay because he's telling you that I've heard conversations in, in rooms you haven't been in and I don't trust them for you. So I'm going to let them go. And whether we, you know, at first we can be like, you know, I really loved him, Lord, or dang, that was my friend. Like, no, 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 That man really wasn't the one for you. And that may be not even your friend, for real. You don't know what she was plotting. You don't know what he was doing behind your back. Try, like, real life, real life. Like, let's be honest here. Let's be honest here. So I'm going to go in with the medium beige color and the camo concealer and I'm gonna go under my eyebrows and carve out my eyebrows with this and with this um I put it on the back of my hand so I can make it a little bit more like I don't know movable because it kind of like melts it a little bit more and then I'm gonna go ahead and carve my eyes my eyebrows I'm gonna look in my mirror while I do this y'all um but back to the thing um basically yeah so I couldn't really forgive people because I didn't notice and I didn't have the knowledge that I do now that we need to forgive others because they do not know what they do. That's what Jesus said when they hung him on the cross. Forgive them, forgive them, Lord, forgive them, Father, for they do not know what they do. But we also do know that regardless of what people do, they will get a consequence for it, whether we see it or not. But we're not worried about what they're going to, where they're going. We're not worried about how they're going to get punished. We're worried about where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going to be the next year? Where are we going to be the next week? Where or what are we doing tomorrow? You know, um, I really had to start. I really had to stop like putting so much trust and and really worried about other humans, bro. Like I really did. Because what can you do for me, for real, that I can't do myself? And what can you do for me that God can't do for me, honestly? Like, you know, like, 
God can do anything. So if you really in the way, if you really not making me happy, like life is too short for me to be with unhappy people. It's too short for me to go out my way and be with bitter people who have no goals in life, who don't tell you or don't motivate you to do better, who really don't care about your emotions, who let you vent um, and don't talk about it with other people, stuff like that. Like, you know, I had a lot of people who said they were my friends, but truthfully, they were my enemies, y'all. Like, I had so many adversarial people near me. And it's it's just crazy. Sometimes you just realize, like, sometimes when you have, like, you know, the little flashbacks, you be like, dang, people are weird, you know? And there's, like, this little thing going around that people, girls say, I'm not going to say, but they say, or weird girls are weird guys are weird everybody weird okay um it might it'd be weird for everyone to be the same that's what i'm saying but at the same time it's like in in this society in my generation because i'm 22 now how is everyone saying i want to be in a relationship i want to do this i want to be locked in blah 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 but no one knows even how to love you want to have friends, but you don't even know how to be a real friend. Shoot, I had problems myself being a real friend to others. The way my, um, let's say my, 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 my love language with friends, my communication skills with friends, my wisdom, my mindset, I'm not saying that they were, they were above everybody, but I was on very different levels with a lot of people to the, to the point where I already knew like if, these people wasn't acting like my actual best friend who who showed me what loyalty is, what it's like to be a real friend. I, I really couldn't put them on a high pedestal anymore. And once I really started losing interest in them, that's when they really started coming towards me and gravitating towards me. But I'm like, bro, like we, I, I and, and even if I confronted them on stuff, I felt like it was wrong timing for real, for real, because it'd be like, you know, you really could have kept up to yourself. You don't really have to confront anybody on their behavior anymore because it doesn't really do much. It doesn't help them. Even if you tell somebody, I remember I told somebody how much they hurt me because I held it in for so long. And then when it came out, it just seemed like I was bashing her. And I had to go back and apologize to her because it was so wrong, bro. Like no matter how, how much I could feel like I was in the right, I felt so bad and dirty because I'm like, this girl was already going through a lot that I didn't know, but I also did know at the same time. And it doesn't really help that I'm over here kind of building up her case on reasons that she should be feeling up. And honestly, truthfully, the fact that the way she reacted towards me really showed me she didn't even care. But I still care. That's my whole point. I still care. She didn't even care about what I said. Like, not even care about what I said. She kind of just been like, I don't even care that we're like, you know, it was weird. She didn't even care to be my friend anymore. And um, so I already knew my emotions really didn't matter to her. But then anyway, some things happened afterwards. And that was the moment where I realized I don't even want to be friends anymore. You know, we just want to be straight in different directions. Like, I don't hate you. I love her still to death till this day. I still pray for this girl. But we are just not friends anymore. That is just it. And because I just had to forgive her. Because her mindset, her lifestyle, her issues were not the same as mine and they affect everyone so differently so this is why we can't hold grudges on people who hurt us y'all because nobody knows what they're doing everyone is fighting through battles everyone is going through something you cannot hold grudges and and really because if you hold this person to accountability you're really you're really disappointing yourself first of all because i know i'm talking a lot i should be doing my makeup somebody using this uh a me glow bright naturally kind i think it's just oh, illuminating face mist and this is just going to dampen up my product right now so i can blend it out but this is what i'm talking about y'all this is literally really what i'm talking about um i'm even taking classes how my eyelashes fall off y'all that is so um, I'm even taking classes at my church and this is why I'm realizing all this right now Well, I've been realizing but it's like coming into effect because there's a difference me and my father talked about this He asked me a question. He said what is the difference between knowledge and wisdom? Think about that and I'm pretty sure you already know the answer and if you don't we can talk about it truthfully um, but knowledge Knowledge is something that you are taught like it's so it's not hard to explain and it'd be simple okay it is something you're taught verbally right 
like to say when people when people say treat others how you should be treated okay that's just something everybody i don't know if everybody goes by but that's something i go by i'm not going to treat you rude because i don't treat myself rude god tells us to love our neighbors like we love ourselves so that's literally what i live by so um but wisdom would be more something that you have to experience to learn to understand it's a deeper level of connection of learning experiences in life the only difference between wisdom and learn and wisdom and knowledge is that you actually experience it not learn it verbally or been shown it you have experienced it reason why we we are nice to other people is because we know that if we're nice to other people good things will come back to us because our hearts are in a good good have good intentions not because people are going to come back and be nice to us that is not guaranteed which i also have to learn people are going to be whoever they are but one thing for sure is that god always sees what you're doing so as long as you're being nice to other people no bad i'm not even saying no bad you, you, you can't get you can't get in trouble for being nice okay you really just can't i think it's just weird and somehow because this world is so evil they make you think that you can they make you feel like you're weak they make you feel like um being a nice person means you're 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 too soft. Being a nice person means you have so much compassion that you will help anybody, which is a wonderful thing. That is a wonderful trait to have. You will help anybody who needs help, but you need to have boundaries with that though, because you. Uh, also, I just went in with the camo concealer in medium, in medium beige, and I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. This is the e.l.f. Uh, powder brush, but I use this for a foundation brush because it's dense and flat enough to always blend out everything. This is how I like brighten my eyes. Give myself like a brighter effect. I have one more concealer I think I'm going to add as well. Just to brighten them up just a little bit more. Life is life. They're going to go through ups and downs. But baby girl, baby girl, like ain't nothing, ain't nothing in this world that can take what God has for you. Like I pray for my enemies just the same as I pray for the people I love. And even my enemies don't know they're my enemies. But I'm still healing from it. I'm still healing from it. But we're 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 so much so much ahead than I was for a long time because I was stuck in a stubborn mindset that would not let me be happy because I I I had so much anger from being un from not forgiving others and I'm gonna go in with light sand. This is another color. This is another Elf. 16 hour camo matte concealer in the color light sand and i'm gonna go ahead again and this is like my serious highlighting shade get the bright look and i yeah notice y'all i don't know if y'all noticed but i really don't use foundation anymore <laughs> now if i'm like doing like a little photo shoot or something i might but truthfully speaking i'm really just good with concealer at this point Okay, I'm gonna let that sit. And then I'm also going to mix in my Revlon concealer with this as well, just so I can make sure that it doesn't come out too bright. But yeah, y'all, like really long story short, you gotta just trust God. You gotta let God in. I'm not really about it. I'm not gonna force my, my religion on people, but in general speaking, like the whole point of this talk is really just to understand that no one is perfect and grudges are very very detrimental to your health unforgiveness is very detrimental to your health uh, holding on to past mistakes not being gracious gracious to yourself and understanding that not only are other people not perfect you are not either so it wouldn't be fair for you to sit here and then you know having a negative mindset being like um i'm not good enough or oh remember when you did this years ago and i you know i think we all get the negative uh patterns in our heads like i can't really speak on 
the bad things that I say about myself because they kind of just come when they come. But really, I just know that that's not me. That's the enemy trying to change my mindset because he knows that I'm going up and I'm not going down. So from there, you really have to take a hold on your actions and be like, no, I'm okay with who I am. Being me is the best thing I have. That's the best gift, talent, and light that I have. Like, there is nothing better than just being you, truthfully. Anybody who don't like you, they just suck, okay? Let's just be honest here. Because I know when you just have a good heart, you're, you're just going, for some reason, you're just going to be attacked. Same way as anybody's going to be attacked. Like, don't even think... Don't even think that bad people don't get attacked or people who are rude or, you know, don't have a kind heart like you aren't being attacked. Because why do you think they are who they what the way they are? Some people choose to use their projection and to roll with it because they were getting projected all their lives from someone else's anger. Other people just choose to be like, no, I know my worth and I'm not going to be insecure about it. And I'm not going to... uh lower i'm not going to make other people feel bad for the stuff that you have to deal with you know when people project they just project people some people just need to vent i feel like that's what people who project just don't understand about themselves because they never did the work but they really just need to vent and but the sad part is when they vent they just completely hash out on everybody and it's like what did I do to you? You did absolutely nothing. But you was there at the time and they just said, I don't like this about you. And da, 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 da. it's their own insecurities. Let it be. Let it be. All right. So we're going to try something new today. I'm kind of scared. But um, I go in with this Be Pure Essential, Essentially Ages Blurring Press Powder. This is from Dollar Tree as well, y'all. This is in medium to dark and then it has hyaluronic acid and vitamin c so i'm gonna take my puff powder and what i do first is that i actually go in on my highlighting areas and pat this in because i do want it to be more of my skin tone and then i'll go in with a very i mean a very bright setting powder because i do want my highlighting uh my highlighting colors to pop back out. Why oh, don't I do my forehead? Do that real quick. Okay. So I go in with the Airspun, Airspun Extra Trans Extra Cover Translucent Powder, and I go in with my highlighting shades with these. So. I Okay, so I go in with my NYX. Y'all can see that this girl is beat up, but I use her for all reasons that I need to. So I go in with the NYX contour and sculpting palette. So I go in with the, these three on the top. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in the first, the inner corners of my jaw and brush up. Then I'm gonna go ahead contour my jawline and the side of my face then what I do too is like I go right in where like my inner where my eye is and contour right there and also contour my forehead Like clearly if I was just doing my makeup, this would be faster, but I was talking a lot too. But I know I have like, that was, I feel like serious, serious information that people need to hear or have a reminder of because I don't think it's brought up enough. It's just so, like this world is just so negative. It really is. And there's nothing wrong with just being yourself. I think that's the best thing you can do possibly is to just be yourself. 
okay then i use this last color it's so dark so i make sure that i only use this like during when i really need to sculpt sculpt and i only go in the inner corner and i brush it up okay this makes my face look extremely chiseled like literally and i also go on the under my jaw as well with some this is an nk um, i'm gonna go in with my favorite morphe palette this is the desert bouquet palette what am i gonna do today let's do like a regular brown natural look i'm gonna go in with this color mud mask right here I'm going to go in with my crease. The best way to do your crease, y'all. Hold up. I just messed up the area. Okay. The best way to do your crease, y'all, is to have your head tilted down. So your eyes can kind of like roll over. Or you can have them extremely up. But I like mine tilted down. Actually, I'll take off my eyelash when I do these. So I can make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. But yeah, have your face tilted down. So you can see exactly where your crease is. Because... I also learned in makeup, when it comes to your eyeshadow, your eyeshadow, depending on your face, no, depending on your eye shape, it should stop somewhere. It should not be all the way up to your eyebrows. I mean, your highlight can be there, but I'm saying the eyeshadow you do, it should stop. It should contour and go with your eye shape. Okay, y'all? Trust me, I've been there. I made the mistakes. I'm just telling y'all, all right? But if I'm actually gonna go in with hot, what is this, hottest ever, this color right here. It's like a brick red, or a brick burgundy maybe, or a brown, whatever. But yeah, I mean, I'm not even about to give these niggas a tool to get in my life, but seriously speaking, like, I'm, I'm just done with dating. And like I said before, everyone says that they want a relationship, they want to ride or die this and that, but nobody knows how to love. And the way you learn how to love is when you finally love yourself and you treat the people who you love the most in your life the best. I'm gonna go ahead and dust off all the rest of this powder so my face will become cake face. Dish off this look. I'm gonna go in with the shimmer. I don't know. I'm gonna go in with my favorite Vila Vibes right here. It's a silver. I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. Okay, then we're gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with Desert Garden, this one, and a little bit of this one. This is Cactus Fruit as my blush. See, this is what always happens with Cactus Fruit. Y'all, I just messed up my makeup. It's okay, it's okay. We can fix it. Put some powder on top. culture adhesive it has biotin and blueberry and this is in the black so it looks like eyeliner My favorite setting spray, y'all, is the Air 
the airbrush spray by oh charlotte till sorry this is the only product i'm paying full price at sephora this is 32 dollars though and i will keep buying it It smells so good and it gives you the flawless look, like the most flawless look ever. This and this, best combination ever. I'm telling you guys. And it highlights on my nose. Literally, that's just it, y'all. Like, that's literally my everyday makeup. It's very simple. It's not that hard. I'm telling you guys, if I can do it, I know you guys can. Like, all right, y'all. So, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys loved my talk through. Remember to, remember to give a like at the bottom and make sure you like, share, and subscribe to your girl because you know the game is lit, 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 lit. Like literally, it's just only gonna go up from here. Um, make sure you put in the comment section what else you guys want to see as well. I do have some more videos for you guys. I have a shoe review for you guys for those uh, shoes I want for my birthday. Hopefully that's already posted. If not, then stay tuned for that. But if it already is posted, go watch it right now. I have so much other stuff I have to film for you guys as well because I just, I just, I don't know. I'm just very happy to be living. I just want to share my lifestyle with y'all. I'm not really here to be an influencer or anything. I just, I just, I don't know. I just, I just like doing this, literally. So until next time, I love you guys so much. Remember that God loves you as well, y'all. Until next time, we'll be out. Bye.